YouTube. I mentioned a while ago that although the Watcher tends to be one of the easier characters for top level players to learn, that she's actually one of the lowest watched. And I kind of put out just a feeler to see if that was more because you guys also thought that she was easy or because a lot of you guys are newer players that don't really understand how to play her. And it was the latter. A lot of you guys were actually saying, yeah, we would really like a video where you go through and teach how to play it. And I didn't really want to do an over explain because those take a lot of prep work. And, you know, you got to talk for like an hour before even getting into the runs to explain all of the variables that you can possibly consider that no one actually does when going into the runs. And so I just thought I would do a run where I kind of just explain my general thought process of things that I actually go over when I go into a run. And yeah, it being on the watcher. Now I will warn you, it does uh, devolve very quickly. Um, but I think that there is actually a lot of good information. In it. And uh, if, yeah, if you do learn something, please let me know. And if you don't feel like you learned a whole lot and I did get a little bit too Mimi, genuinely let me know. And I would absolutely love to go over things like this again. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of actually also started to enjoy being a little bit more informative, being a little bit less goofy. So uh, maybe I'll do more of it in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Here we go. Hi, everybody. My name is Frost Prime, but you can call me friend. <laughs> I'm losing my fucking mind. Things to talk about on the Watcher at the beginning of our runs. First off, let's see what our starting options are. Boom! Boom! Things that uh, the Watcher has versus the other characters. The Watcher has less starting cards. Uh, the Watcher and the Defect are the only two that start off with four strikes and four defense. So uh, less than less than the silent that has five strikes, five defense, less than the ironclad that has five strikes, four defense. Uh, these guys start off with less cards. And the watcher loves her strikes. She actually likes her strikes, unlike other characters. Other characters in the game hate their strikes usually and want to remove them before they remove a couple of defense. Uh, the watcher will almost always remove a defend before a strike. The only other characters that do that is sometimes the ironclad and very rarely the silent, but never the defect. And not really the other characters too. Usually it's a, it's a strike first and then a defend, but it depends. But yeah, the Watcher likes her strikes early on. They help her deal damage. Most characters, if you hear other streamers talking about them, they'll say, find a path that gives you three early combats because those are your, those are your, uh, those are your, your, your easy, your easy pool fights and then take a campfire and then take an elite. But I think the Watcher can, if you want to take a little bit less than that, if you wanted to go something like this, maybe get an extra move because again, the Watcher still hates her starting cards and has a relatively easy job getting rid of them because of the fact that the other cards that she adds are so incredibly powerful because she goes into Wrath. So she's very good at removing cards early and just unga boonga down the act. So going something that's like this, picking a couple extra question marks, hoping for a move, double upgrade event, uh, a, 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 a transform events, fantastic. Getting this early elite, perfectly fine. Maybe go something like this, take a second elite. Uh, very good path. I also think that going this way, get three fights into this campfire, into this elite, into this thing, and then you have a good pivot point. You want to take a second shot, maybe get a second remove, or you could go this way and go that way. I don't think that the two shops right next to each other are going to be all that helpful, so I'm probably going to ignore that path. You could also go something like this and uh, take three shops. That's like super hyper crazy mode. But yeah, I do think that probably the best path for us here is to go that double elite path, get a couple of early question marks, try to get some removals, hopefully get a couple of good cards. That's the thing about the Watcher. Is the Watcher, unlike other characters, you know, the Silent, needs a lot of, you know, needs powers and, and relics and cards and... A bunch of other things to work together in order to be able to be good even in the early game versus the watcher is good she just is she just she just starts off quite strong uh, so don't worry as much about your early game uh, your, your goal should be to find a couple of really strong attack cards in order to be able to defeat this big guy at the end of the yeah, act chat won, um, though, and shut the fuck up chat did win yesterday yeah if you've seen them spamming that uh they did win so let's look at our starting options. Lose your starting boss. We're probably not going to do that because I don't like the idea of swapping my relic and just getting a really, really easy run from getting a more powerful boss relic. And then you don't feel like you actually learned anything because I just got a really strong run. Losing all your gold for 12 max HP. Not a terrible start. I mean, this is this is a rare relic for 100 gold. Perfectly fine, especially if you're going to go a path like this. Hope that none of these are uh, an early shop. That would be uh, unideal. Random common relic. A lot of common relics are more aggressive. You get into like the uncommon relics, you get the eggs, you get into the rare relics, you get things like Tori and Tungsten Rod and, and things that are uh, very hyper defensive like that. There's still some fantastic late game. Uh, there's still some fantastic rare relics that deal a lot of damage. But in the common relics, you get things like, uh, uh, you know, your, your strength scaling and your, I think Pendib is a common relic, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there's a lot of very aggressive common relics. So I think common relics early on for this character 
uh, is super duper poggers. We love that. Transforming a card, like I said, this character does hate her early starting cards. So if you wanted to transform a defend here, uber poggers, it can help you decide what direction your deck is going to go. Because a lot of times you get to the end of this first fight and you're like, oh my God, do I want to take mantra or another way to get into wrath? Or do I want to take this cute little card that says meditate and go, you know, like, what do I want to do? A lot of times transforming a card can just kind of push you in the right direction or in the wrong direction. But I think for the sake of this, I'm going to take a common relic and see what we get. We get a lantern. Fantastic. Strong relic. Again, just adds to the early aggression. Adds to the early aggression of this character. Or you could get a boot. So true. I could get a boot. Uh, we could get lethal on one guy. Either way, we have 14 incoming damage. So it does not matter what we do here. We have 14 incoming damage with the inability to kill one of them. So we'll be taking more damage than is ideal. All right. First combat completed. Would you like to go with a tranquility? Would you like to go and evaluate? I think that taking early spells, again, this character, like I said, or likes to deal a lot of damage early. But I think there is one exception to taking early spells is either more ways into Wrath or Mantra. I think if you get early Mantra, it's... it's uh, mantra is kind of like Claws. Mantra is a lot like Claws. The first one that you take, it's going to kind of suck. But if you can get a lot of them early on, good. And uh, unlike Claws... There's multiple different cards in this game that actually benefit off of it. So I definitely think that a prostate early. Let's go. Let's go for it. Let's run it. It makes me. It does make me want to lean towards early combats. Early on, if you draw, I didn't need to actually play the uh, the miracle there because of my lantern. But early on, if you draw your eruption against like something like the cultist or a char any character that's not attacking, um, you're probably just gonna be able to burst them down. Just go for it. Entropic brew, fantastic, fantastic early potion. Could take this indignation. I do like the idea of another uh, uh, attack card here. Let's take this cut through fate, especially with two potential strong potions. Again, we could go for a, a less attack filled path, but I would like to find, since we took that early skill, I want to find either a good potion that's aggressive or another good attack card. So let's take our last, um, let's take our last thing. So that, that whites or the, the yellow slime is going to debuff my attacks. And this guy was, is going to debuff my blocks. So by going into wrath here, uh, we actually, in killing the guy who is going to weaken us, we guarantee pretty much always being able to kill this guy this turn with the amount of cards we have left in our deck. Um, and look at that. <laughs> Would you look at that, baby? <laughs> unless this event, unless this event is going to give you all 17 HP and you feel like you need it, literally never click it. I'm telling you that right now. Always take the remove. It'll be way cooler. It'll be way poggier. You will get so many more uh, hotties wanting to ride on your... Um, <laughs> Golden Idol. Usually wouldn't recommend taking this because uh, that may requires you to then probably have to upgrade. Uh, sometimes you can click damage. Curse. Uh, usually cringe. Even if you have Omomori, wouldn't really recommend it. Instead, I'm going to take this. Now we can go here, grab an early upgrade. Um, we could go for the Worship upgrade or the Prostate upgrade. I really like the Prostate upgrade because it allows us, if we go Worship in the Prostate and then reshuffle our deck and we can get Prostate off again, we'll be able to go into... Uh, Big Bagungus mode. So let's go Big Bagungus mode. We get the early uh, Big Scary guy. So let's go ahead and break our Entropic Brew here. Love the Bottled Miracle since we have so many of our attack cards in our hand. Let's just blow our entire fucking load here, shall we? Of the Prostate. Did not need to blow my entire fucking load. But usually going into Wrath here is not that big of a deal because of the fact that that you're already going to be taking a fuck ton of damage against this guy, right? You're all, like, th this guy's already, get, he's either going to, he's either going to hit you this turn for 8, and then next turn for 20, or this turn for 16, and then next turn you probably kill him. Uh, so right now we could either go with the Gambler's Brew to try to find two more attack cards, or we can wait until next turn. I think I'm going to go with the Gambler's Brew, because we've only found one potion, we've taken quite the number of fights. So we have a decent chance of getting a potion again. And would you... Oh. <clears throat> Let me explain potion percentages just really quickly. At the beginning of the act, you have a 40% chance of getting a potion after a combat. If you don't see a potion, that goes up by 10%. If you do see a potion, it goes down by 10%. And it just constantly is fluctuating until the end of the act. So if you haven't seen a potion in a while, you have a good chance of getting one. 
That's just basically the way to think about it. You can keep track of it. There's a mod to keep track of it. That's great. Uh, we did get a power potion. Um, but more importantly, we got a motherfucking crack pipe. I mean, peace pipe. Jesus. Again, the Watcher loves to remove cards, make her deck really, really small so that I can continue to do the things that are really good for me. And so, yeah, I mean, we can potentially, you know, go like this. Skirt! Right? Like, take a billion removes here. Get three removes by the end of the thing. I think that dealing big, big damage going into this fight is going to be ideal for us. Mental Fortress, I don't care much as much about. So let's take a big Bagongus wheel kick. Uh, this fight is fucking scary. Now, <laughs> uh, this guy's not debuffing us this turn. So let's just try to burst him down. Let's just try to fucking smash their face into the goddamn floor. And we do that effectively, and I like that. Okay. Uh, here we can cut through fate, and if we draw into our prostate, we could potentially... We could have potentially gone into the thing, but we did not draw into our prostate there, unfortunately. So it does look like we might be taking a wee bit more damage than I would prefer. Let's full block this turn and then hope that we can draw into our uh, worship quite early. It doesn't seem to be a possibility. So we're just continuously taking multitudes of damage just because of the unluckiness of our draw order. Perfectly fine, though. Get fucking wheel kicked. A second power potion put into the deck. I do like the idea of a third eye as well. More scry. We can get uh, we can get synergies like Nirvana or something in the future um, that will allow us to block whenever we scry. We could get a relic that helps us with scrying. And again, we're going to be getting rid of a lot of these cards. So it makes it so we can find our good cards more easily. Or Pongers. Oh my god. And if we don't take any more cards and don't add more cards to the deck, we also can sing loudly. Uh, so now, yeah, now we get our first remove offered. We did just add another defensive card. So let's remove another defend. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Again, this character likes to have a more aggressive deck as well at, as... Um, I should have done the math there. We were, we were one damage off of splitting them right up, but that's fine. Um, but also... Uh, Wow, we are just getting potions left and right. Do I want a second worship? Oh, man. That's a hard question here. I think I would rather have, honestly, another cut through fate. More ways to scry. This character likes to have less cards in the deck uh, and has likes to have a more uh, damage-focused uh, deck early game, especially. And then also, you can look at the boss and know that this guy is just whack your face against them. You could go double worship here, but I think it might be more effective to go with a, a second cut through fate so we have more ways to get it. I do think I am going to go with Explosive Potion. We have a very low potion percentage, but... Yeah, but chat won, though, so shut the it's fuck true. up. It's true. Chat, would you have not gone with Explosive Potion? It might have been the smarter idea. On me, really. You guys are probably way smarter than me and would have um, would have known not to go with Explosion Potion there. That would have been so bad to go with the Explosive Potion. Um... <laughs> we got another potion! Ooh, this is a hard fucking choice, man. You give me a goddamn vault. You give me a goddamn vault? Or the or a way to get into divinity on my first rotation of draw. <laughs> Hello, Chad. Welcome to the informative section of the video. So I really like Prey for two reasons. One, it allows us to get into our our our, our uh, divinity state on our first rotation. But two, it adds to cycle. And right now, what does our deck like to do? Have a very small amount of cards and cycle, 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 <clears throat> cycle our ass through. Cycle, 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 cycle. I am legitimately going to pass up a vault for a, for a prey. Not that good of a card versus an extremely valuable card. On paper, blanketly outstated. But you always need to be thinking about what's going to go well in your deck right now. What is going to be effective for you? And it's a vault. No, I'm just kidding. I, 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 think, that it's, I, think, I think that there's actually not an incorrect decision here. I think that both of these are quite correct, but I think Prey just slightly ekes it out for this upcoming fight. And I think finally we are going to remove a strike. Now we have three strikes in two defense. You guys again? What the hell, man? But look at this. <gasps> Boom! Draw me. Slam this guy. Hit this guy with a bingus bongus. Hit this guy with a bingus bongus. 
I could have just killed him, actually. I think. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? And look at that. Look at the deck functioning far better than it was. We can take a crush joints for even more damage. Or we could take a meditate to be able to get divinity off multiple turns in a row. I think we're going to benefit off of meditate and upgrading the meditate so that we can do divinity things two turns in a row. Not simmering fury. Why do we need to go into wrath and be in a dangerous place when we can focus on dealing triple damage with, with virtually no downsides to the enemy dealing damage against us? If you already have one really, really solid way to deal damage, why do I need a second solid way to deal damage? That's the neat thing. You don't. Yeah, let's take a meditate. I think it's going to be really strong. And for the first time, we're not going to be removing a card. We're going to upgrade it instead. If you take meditate, runic pyramid is going to show up. Joke's on you. You're assuming that I don't want that. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to keep this cut through fate. I think it'll allow us to get off our shit next turn. Okay. And then we can prostate. What if we prostate, meditate, meditate back, wheel kick, and prostate? Yeah, but chat one though, so shut the fuck up. So true. Could have hit strike there. Could have hit strike there. I think we're going to be okay. So now we can do this. And then we can play Prey. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait one second, he's about to get fucking freaky with it, man. Hold on, chat. Boom. 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 Wait for it. Here we go. Ready? Boom. Boom. Boom! Boom! And you said that the vault was better. Maybe you should listen to your teacher, huh? <clears throat> Hold on. Let him cook. Uh, judge here is interesting if we actually needed damage. Don't really care. Omniscience can be really good because you could omniscience your worship on turn one in order to go bung bingus bongus mode earlier. Uh, you could also take Ragnarok to deal bingus bongus. You could do more bingus bongus stuff. You can, you can just, in, in fact, deal more bingus bongus things, especially if we're going to continue to toke away more of our cards. Um, first time chatter, Jimmy Chap says Ragnarok. Is that strictly on the basis of pogs, though, Jimmy Chap? What are we, what are we thinking here? Pogs per deck cycle. I do like that idea, yeah. Just to keep face smacking, to be honest. <laughs> like the honesty. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> and I think if we're going to be removing a bunch of cards, I? Okay, so ectoplasm is a very weird relic. You can only see it after your act one boss or as a boss swap potential. But after act one, you'll never see ectoplasm. Is this an ectoplasm angle? Shops are less valuable for us. Because of the fact that we can remove at campfires and we have such little cards. And we do like the idea of having more energy before we go into mantra mode because of the fact that we can then cycle, 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 bingus bongus mode. Yeah, but the shop guy is hot. You've never seen his face. We do have the, the anti-synergy of the ectoplasm and golden idol. That there is the anti-synergy there. <laughs> We do have the anti-synergy of... Uh, <laughs> Slaver's Collar has no downside? You're wrong. The, literally, downside is spelled out in the words. No, if you want to say that something has no downsides, this has no downsides. By definition, this has no downsides. I've actually seen the shop guy's face before. It's hot. Trust me. I'm my own source. <laughs> all right. I'll let him cook. I think, Bla I think all of those are actually really good. It, 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 it's... I, I will say, all of us players in the game, right? We still struggle with things. And I think one thing I do struggle with is identifying a good place to take ectoplasm. But I do like this path where we go like this. We have a pivot point here, right? So remember in Act 2 and then and in Act 3, both of these, uh, you only get two easy pool fights and then it goes into the hard pool versus Act 1, it's 3. So I think you can either go this way, get this shop early, and go to this point, remove a card, remove a card, remove a card, two elites. Or if you're feeling really gassed up, all gas, no breaks, uh, you can go this way and take a third elite as well. I think both are strong. Both are strong. Let's go. No, we don't need to let me come. It's not. I've, I've, I, I'm going to, I'm going to be completely honest with you, Chad. I've, I've come to all that I need to do. I don't. Again, thank you guys for going to bat for me. Really appreciate that. 
Um, but again, do not, uh, do not, I, I, I will keep, keep continue to say this, um, do not very much need to come here. Um, this is a really shitty situation that we're in, aren't we? Like a really negative situation that we're in. It's really bad. Uh, but we're gonna have to meditate here, grab you, and probably just you. Taking a lot of D early on, not liking this. Which is why we need to get rid of more cards. Because look at what we can. Alright, we're in a bit of a pickle here, chap. We are in quite a bit of a pickle. Let's take an inner piece to help out with the drawing situation. But I would you know what I would have rather had here? I would have rather had more fucking energy, man. <laughs> like legitimately, oh man. I want to take two max HP. I don't think that any of those are necessarily going to help us. This is definitely a situation where you pop the ancient potion. Pray for me. If you haven't played, I'd recommend practicing spell a little bit. It's punishing. Have you read the title of the stream today? Tell me you haven't read the title of the stream without telling me. Mm -mm. Yeah, but chat won though, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> so true. So true, so true. Uh, yeah, none of these are interesting as well. Let's just keep taking max HP. I have 399 gold. Oh, fuck me. How low can you go? Can you go down low all the way to the floor? So we can press this button. You have to take 6 HP to leave. But you can also press this button in order to gain more gold. I'm going to press this. I'm going to press it one more time and now we're going to leave. We're at 15 HP. Help me. We can get a gambling chip. This is phenomenal. This is great. Imagine if you had taken ectoplasm. True. This is phenomenal. And now we can get Ori for 10 max HP at the very least. That's looking like max HP to me. Could take another prostate. Thank you for the brand new one, Icarus. I appreciate you. That looks like two max HP to me. <laughs> um, that looks like two max HP to me. I don't think I need this other prostate. I really don't think I need this. Do I need this wish, though, for more money? <sighs> no, I don't think I want the wish, man. I don't think I don't think I want the wish. Give me the give me the ten max HP, and give me another removal. We want this deck tiny, man. Not ideal, not ideal, not a, not an ideal find. Uh, get rid of this. Okay, that was pretty ideal. <laughs> I thought you were going spelunking IRL. I don't think I would ever go spelunking IRL. Uh, we could take the mental fortresses as an alternative way to block. Uh, we don't really gain a whole lot though off of it, you know? Like we really don't. We really don't gain a whole lot of block off of it because wrath is like not something that we care all that much about. We could take the coin. Coin is okay. Coin is all right. It does help us. Right now we're kind of just looking for a Nirvana. The power that allows us to block whenever we scry. That's kind of like where we're at. Yeah. R eruption removal. Why do I need eruption if I'm just blasting things with a mantra, you know? But Mental Fortress does gain you block two turns in a row when you block with it, with with uh, with the big D. But I think for now, we're going to keep going like this. And I'm going to go here. And I'm actually going to rest. Because of the fact that we have gained so much max HP, you heal for more whenever you rest with a large amount of max HP. And again, we just want to go as hard as possible towards getting our mantra off. There's our prey. Um, do we want to do that next turn, though? Because that is looking like a bit of a juicy turn. <laughs> like, we could do it this turn, but then we have one card to use it with. So, I feel like it may be better to just hold out. And then do a big slammy move. 
my honest opinion the advantage in the race. Yeah. Fire's default difficulty is lower than Spelunky 2. Insta death is very molding. Yep. <clears throat> All right, didn't lose too much. Speed potion me. An establishment. Now that is a card that we want in this deck. Because meditate will reduce the cost of whatever we keep in our hand because it says retain. And this says whenever a card is retained. Yep, you figured out how to run this deck. Let's toke me real quick. Get rid of a defend. Meal ticket as an alternative way to heal? Seems phenomenal to me. And you can upgrade worship. Very true. Very true. Do I want to get rid of another strike here? Or do I want to get rid of another defend? I can also get rid of eruption. Is this... Is, is, I think it's time to get rid of eruption, chat. I think it's time to get rid of eruption. Because it costs too much. <laughs> That's the way that I'm thinking right now. I think no. I think no. We yeah, do have gambling chip, but... So shut the fuck up. It's true. Chat did win. My bad. All right, let's go for it. Let's 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 see if we can't blast our way into some of these elites. I think that we get rid of all of these cards, and we we can pop off, and pretty much guarantee that we get our prey off this turn or next. Come on, that's what I love to see. Um, so we could go meditate here, or we can hold off for meditate next turn, get both of these kills, and play establishment strike. This guy, so this guy, the way that the gremlin leader works, if one guy is left alive after they buff, they have a 50-50 of attacking. After summoning, they have a 50-50 of attacking. If they have two guys or more left alive after they've upgraded, they have a 100% chance of attacking. But if they have no guys left alive after buffing, it is a 20% chance of getting attacked. So keep that in mind. So we can worship, meditate here, and then bring back the worship with an insight in our hand. That seems phenomenal. Worship, meditate that. It gets reduced by one. That was a 50-50 of getting attacked there. Easy peasy, never punished. And now we slam. And now let's draw a little bit. Kill you. Hit you. Pray with you. 20% chance of getting attacked again. Still never punished, never will be, never can be. Getting punished is not a word that I understand. Um, let's get rid of the Ragnarok here, because watch this. You go... You go... Prostate. So... We don't want to draw our prey and our worship, but I would love to play this wheel kick and then meditate it. So let's hope that we don't draw both of them. <laughs> okay, that's fine. It just means that we have to meditate uh, Ragnarok and Prostate in order to go into to Divinity this turn. We are finally getting attacked. But ask me if I have lethal. Oddly, Smooth Stone's fantastic. We could get another Third Eye. I'm probably going to say no to that, though. I think I am going to say no to that. And we do get a War Paint to upgrade. The two best spells in our deck that are not currently upgraded. Those were some very good upgrades. We could also take a Liquid Bronze if we wanted it to potentially fight a Stabby Man. I'm going to lean away from it, though. I think that the, the this potion could help us out a lot to take that Elite Fight. Or, this potion could help us out a lot to take that elite fight. <laughs> Alright, let's take an elite fight. We are happy to see Stabby Book, I think. Over the others. Um, I think I get rid of all of you. Okay, phenomenal. 
And then I think we can do this. This to block fully. We don't really want to draw here. So instead, I'm going to meditate back our miracle. No, I'm definitely getting prostate so that I can do this. I could also just bring back Ascender's Bane so we don't redraw into it. That's actually a really good choice, I think. Just bring back Ascender's Bane so you don't redraw into it. It's weird that it doesn't exhaust. Does that not feel really weird that it didn't exhaust there? That felt awkward. I don't like that. Can I go back and do it again and have it exhaust? Thank you for subscribing. Pog indeed. Uh, let's play Third Eye here. Let's get rid of you. So then we can draw a new card. I was hoping it would be something a little bit better. Something that could block a little bit more. But that's fine. We'll, we'll drop an establishment here. Okay. Not the best hand to have drawn here. But we just do what we've done in the past. We'll play this instead. And then next turn we are... Not guaranteed to go in. And I, and I would like to be able to kill next turn. So I'll take the additional damage in order to be able to guarantee a kill next turn. I just feel like the deck just needs just a slight bit more. A coin and an ink bottle seems fantastic. Uh, let's see what cards we get. An Evaluate Plus. That does seem like a decent card. Didn't you take that potion for the Elite? I did. Yeah. Doesn't mean that I need it, though. Yeah, I think Evaluate Plus kind of goes hard. Do I want this Distilled Chaos over this potion? Or do I still like this potion to be able to burst down this Elite coming up? And then if we get... We can leave these three cards here, rest of the campfire. And if we get exactly an Astrolabe, we can go boom, boom, boom. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's weird that it says... Uh, rem, yeah, put, put, put cards into your hand, retain, enter, calm, then end your turn. Which should, by that order, delete the Ascender's Bane. Yeah. By that order, it should technically delete the Ascender's Bane. It's weird that it doesn't. No, what you guys are saying, I think, is based off of... Uh, like, like it, it could work that way, for sure. But I think that what you guys are doing is you're ex you're you're thinking based off of what happened versus what I think happens. I've had apparitions exhaust. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like I think that you're just saying things based off of what act what happened in the moment and not like what is supposed to happen. I I'm just I'm not trying to be an asshole here. Oftentimes I am trying to be an asshole. <laughs> Oftentimes I am, and I'm not trying to be an asshole here. But I, yeah, I, I don't think that retain overrides ethereal because I think that that would be clearly stated somewhere because of the fact that Slay the Spire is usually very deliberate. That's all we can ask for, right? Is trying our best to not be an asshole. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep my potions. All right, let's retain. Oftentimes, hey, I'm trying to be an asshole. Lol, same. Yeah. That's the best thing we can do, right? Is just be a little honest. Uh, I would love to be able to get off an establishment meditate this early on. If at all possible, game. If I could get off my establishment and or my meditate. There is my establishment. Love this. And then I can establishment. And I can meditate back. Ragnarok third eye. I just want to make everything cost zero if I can. That would make my day much better. Don't care about you. Don't really care about you next turn. Don't really care about you next turn either, I don't think. No, that allows me to go into the thing. Okay. And then we'll play you. And I'll go... Scrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Hit him with one of these. Uh, let's evaluate into wheel kick so we don't draw our entire deck here so that we can now meditate back our Ragnarok and our wheel kick. They now both cost zero. <laughs> Get some goddamn love in the chat for Colliding Planet. Uh, I actually probably want to draw you, yeah? Now we can draw. Now we can play Worship. We can draw again. Uh, we can play you, and then we can draw again. Shuffle our deck. Play one of these. Play one of these. Bring in... Yep. And yeah, so our deck gets really good later on in fights, doesn't it? <laughs> like, it gets really strong uh, as the fights go on. Uh, and I think a spirit shield with our deck, our hand just wanting to constantly be full. Again, if we can make it cost nothing, is going to be really fucking strong. No, we don't need two Ragnaroks. I think spirit shield goes fucking hard here. I mean, we don't really even need to upgrade anything either. Because again, this character thrives off of these tiny little fucking decks. The Watcher doesn't care about the size, chat. She doesn't at all. She, she, if you have, she, it's not about how, how large your deck is. It's about how you use it. Um, yeah, so we can strike, defend, remove, uh, and, and just like continue to pop off, especially with our, uh, with our gambling chip allowing us to, uh, the, uh, let me, let me, let me say this. The main reason why I'm willing to do this is because we have no curses. We have no innate cards. That's big. Innate cards are really bad, but also because we have gambling chip and we have gambling chip with a miracle. So we can shuffle through 12 of our cards in order to try to find exactly what we need in each fight, in order to not, uh, in order to pump out things very, very fast. So yeah, double remove me. What is the chat one thing about? Yesterday, chat one. And so uh, they get to rub it in my face all day today. And this looks like a good path. You can go this way, hopefully get like the mind bloom event. And then it, dude, if we get 999 gold in here, <laughs> dare I say I'm gonna come. I'm, I, I don't want to get ahead of myself here, chat. Okay, what do we want to do here? We are taking currently incoming a billion damage. So do I actually want to get rid of all of my good cards in my hand to block? No, probably not. <laughs> probably don't want to get rid of all of the cards in my hand that do some blocking things. This is a difficult draw. Usually you're not going to be getting hit for 32 damage on turn one. Usually that that, that that is a is a rare occurrence to walk into a fight and get, being hit for 32 damage on turn one. Very few enemies in the game do this. The Act 4 elites barely do this. Yeah, this is a this is a more difficult situation. I don't think this one is as cut and dry. I think you can get rid of worship here, and I think you can get rid of establishment, maybe. Maybe keep the establishment. Get rid of this miracle though. I don't think we'll need it as much. But then I think you get rid of establishment. Just gonna get rid of this solid draw, in my opinion. Uh, make sure to usually play your, your third eye before you play Cut Through Fate. And then we could look for Meditate here, actually. So that we can grab a couple additional cards. We can do Evaluate into you. Let's hit this guy because he has less HP. Remember, the outside guys are the only ones that can do the multi-attacks. Uh, grab your Meditate. And then meditate back. Uh, what is our draw pile looking like? Wheel kick? Let's grab you and you. So that we can go into Mantra next turn. Again, that was just... We wanted to take as few amount of damage as possible. Because it was a hard fucking turn. That was no easy turn. I'll tell you this. Am I too busy taking notes? Others watching Dangies Ling relearn the game with chat's help. Alright, here we can just uh, smack him. Call me a snack because I just snacked on him. Yeah, that one didn't make sense. Try again next time. All right, and then let's just meditate back. Big Bagongus. Bull stench, they give it three months. As I primarily watch on YouTube, I wanted to make sure I paid my content tax. There's no fucking content tax, man. You're being lied to about this tax. This arbitrary tax that doesn't actually exist. Wait, am I not going to be able to kill these guys this turn? Wait, this is sad. Let's 
bring this into our hand. Let's bring back you. And you. I, I just realized now that we didn't... He was blocking because I was too busy yelling at chat about their malfeasances that I didn't realize that these guys were blocking. Oops. Tranquility, no thank you. Again, just farm this max HP. All right, we would love the Mind Bloom event. Mind Bloom event. Mind Bloom event. This there's fight's scary. Tax. No, there's Sorry no con... For the late payment. It's no... It's not... It doesn't exist, man. You can't fool me. I'm not gonna get caught for not paying my content tax. We're gonna want to look for establishment here. This fight is gonna work well off of establishment being played. Okay. Sacrificing a small amount of HP here in order to be able to get off the good things. Three HP, I think, is fine. It's not about using Ragnarok necessarily right now. <clears throat> yeah, very dangerous, actually, to use that card right now. Uh, let's bring back you and you. Just want to make things cost a little bit amount. So that you can... Uh, you can play big, big blocks. Meditate mod check. Love that. So again, build up a lot of blocks. My job, I got to watch you stream. Hell yeah. No longer am I confined to you. Making everything cost small amounts. Good. This is good. Prostate me. Oops, I sorry. Tax on your birthday, but I've learned of a fancy new leaf called arugula. What are your thoughts on arugula? No comment here, man. No comment on arugula here. Uh, this is going to have to deal 15 times 3. So we need a little bit more block. Chat. There's no content tax. Can you guys stop? I'm trying to focus. I'm like someone who you would have in content tax with Jay. It sounds like you would This is what you sound like, Chad. Does that sound like you? Does that sound like your voice right now? Am I sounding a lot like you? Give me another uh, more HP, please. Duplicate a card. Okay, this is an interesting one. Duplicating a card. Do we want to duplicate a card? We could duplicate a third eye. Third eye could be our best bet of what to duplicate here. Could also duplicate a wheel kick. I think I think duplicating wheel kick. Meditate, I think, is, is is two cards that you can draw at the same time that end your turn, I think, is not quite good. Establishment? No. Yeah, I think third eye plus is probably the best card in our deck right now. Or a wheel kick. Yeah, I think it's either or. One, though, so Very true. Up. It's, no, it's, it's, it's so true. It's so true. I'm going to go with my gut. My gut says wheel kick. Three shops in a row. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I want to go to them, though, because I just want to remove. Right? Like, I I kind of just want to remove all the cards in my deck. Shard? What the hell is Shard going to give us that we want? Wait. There's one card with a Shard. That would be insanely pog. That would be so fucking cool. We have three shops in a row right now, though, chat. Odds are low, but it's content. See, here's the thing. Odds are low, but it's content? Doesn't fucking work when I'm trying to do a how to play the Watcher video. This video is supposed to be how to play the Watcher. But I do think that if there's ever a time that we could potentially go for a Prismatic Shard, I think it's when your, adac your deck is completely established. Um, Sorellian, thank you so much for the two months. I think when your deck is completely established, I think it becomes really, really strong in order to go for something like this. So genuinely, give me however many subs you think that I deserve for that. But I think it's actually quite the smart play. Give me another shot. <laughs> there's a scroll. There's a clockwork souvenir. We don't need a brilliance. I really don't think we need a brilliant. I really want this scrawl. I really want this scrawl like real bad. Like real bad, I want this scrawl. Why not brilliance? I don't think we need it. I don't think we need the damage. Right? Like, yeah, is brilliance, one, though, is brilliance like up. necessary for the damage? You know what I'm saying? Who could, which, I think we're playing more cards. I think we're going to play more cards on average than Puka Vetch will allow. I'm going to take this and I'm moving on. I want to go to the next shop. And, but this, pop, this clockwork souvenir is so fucking good. Like this clockwork souvenir is so insanely good. It's so it's so insanely good, man. 
I was like, we could get fasting. We could get wraith form. We could get uh, 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 berserk. We could get um, reprogram. <laughs> like, what could if they, dude? If this guy has the homie, imagine if this has the homie. We are required to go to the shop. Imagine if this if this has the homie. And then above all else, if it has nothing that we can just remove here. I'm going for it. I'm going with my gut. The homie's there. The homie's there and he's waiting for me. He's feeling lonely. And he just wants the feeling of my touch against his skin. And we can remove. I could feel him. I could feel his touch against me. Love that. Love that. Absolutely love that. Hi, puppy. What's up? Cat, I bring you a woman. See ya. Okay, so we can actually do something fun here. We can go like this. Look at this. Then we can then we can actually draw again, reshuffle our deck again. Then we can spirit shield. And you're like, oh my god, Tristan! But you literally got off. You literally didn't. <laughs> you literally didn't get off anything with your mantra. We don't need to, man. Our deck is becoming zero fucking cost on a moment's notice. Nothing costs energy ever for us. We're playing this game on easy mode, my friends. Easy mode, I say. Easy mode. Look. Watch this. Spirit shield into meditate. Look. Look at how little our deck is costing right now. Do you see this? Do you see this? Tell me we are not uh, fucking pogging out of our goddamn mind right now. Tell me in this moment that I am not, as the kids say, fucking pogging out of my goddamn mind right now. And then here, you can go uh, cut through fate to draw cards. And you're like, oh my god, but no, now I can't meditate things. Uh, I can meditate whatever the fuck I want, man. Make everything cost zero. Make everything cost zero. Nothing shall cost anything in my deck. Ever. And honestly, if we can get the wheel kicks to cost nothing too, it's kind of hard. And if we get another way to go into calm that's less expensive than vigilance, and you're like, why didn't you just make the vigilance cost zero? Hey, Chad, shut the fuck up. All right, your good points, I don't care. Uh, aggregate, I don't think is that good for energy generation, <laughs> simply because... Chat one, though, so I don't think it's that good for energy generation, simply for the fact that uh, we don't have a whole lot of cards in the deck. I have Anchor's now spent ninety dollars and ninety five cents on subscribing to your channel. Absolutely, love to hear that. Money on arugula instead. I could have eleven point four one pounds of organic packaged baby arugula from the website Amazon.com. Uh huh. Darklings are an interesting fight because they're the only fight that you can find in both the easy pool and the hard pool, and they're exactly the same. Isn't that a fun little nifty fun fact about this uh, fight? Isn't that a fun little nifty fun fact, chat? Tell me it's a fun little nifty fun fact! <laughs> no face, not there. It's true. It's very true, man. All right, we're getting blasted here. Let's go ahead and just blast them back real quick. Spirit shield can help us block. Yeah, but chat one though, so shut the fuck up. So true. Abba kiss me. Man, could you please Abba kiss me, please? What would you guys say if I asked you to, to Abba kiss me?
<clears throat> really, if we can upgrade the, the spirit shield, we're going to be in such an unbelievably phenomenal shape. It's going to be crazy. I mean, we're already... I mean, we could take this, but again, let's keep our deck small. Let's not add anything to the deck that adds more cards. Yeah? Does that make sense, what I just said? Or did that make zero sense at all? Actually, keep that. <clears throat> okay. Again, establishment, pog. But I think we still don't want establishment always in our opening hand. Sometimes we do, though. Sometimes. Um, if we can find our prostate here. Okay, watch this. Watch these moves. And you're like, oh my god, Tristan, what are you doing? Wait, hold on. Don't watch my moves. Wait, my moves suck. Holy shit. Why do my moves suck so much? Wait, Chad, hold on. Are you watching? Still haven't added burns. Is, if this guy adds burns to the deck, we're going to be a little bit scared. But right now, while no burns are being added, I'm not as scared. God damn, this, this deck just... It just fucking blocks, man. Get rid of these two so that we can meditate and make both of them cost less. Okay, here come the burns. Okay, next turn we need to prepare for them. Because he's going to add burns into, into this pile. So we want to we wanna essentially end this turn with as many cards as we can in our draw pile. Hello, Seth. Chat, can, can we give Seth an award, please? Is this possible at all? <clears throat> yeah, I want to give Seth the good friend award. Okay, that's really good. Courier's really good. Meat on the bones, okay. Energy potion, eh. It's like a beam cell. <laughs> I mean, in terms of things that we don't need but could add. <laughs> in terms of things that we literally don't need in the deck. I'm got the fucking Trump hands. I'm gonna take this beam cell. Fuck it. Let's do it. I don't think we need to toke anymore, man. I think we can I think we can uh can upgrade here. I think we can upgrade our spirit shield or we can upgrade our beam cell. I'm going to recall first, and there's probably going to be a beam cell upgrade, honestly. I think we kind of block for enough. I can just destroy you with my fists. With my fists of fury. Okay, scroll me. Yeah, but chat won, though. So shut the fuck up. That's pretty true. Chat did win that one time. Chat did win that one time doing that one thing. You guys remember the time when chat won? 20 This is why the beam cell was so good <laughs> Oh man Do we need it though? I know that I said I was looking for this entire game I talked about it multiple times That all I was looking for was a nirvana But do I need it though? I don't think we need it anymore I think I've outgrown it I think I've outgrown it it's cool that it's there, though. You're a little late, man. What if I upgraded all cards? Not necessary. Let's, bo let's boss fight. This is the scariest boss for you to find because of the fact that... Simply because of the fact that they deal damage based off of your current HP and you're usually going to be high HP sometimes. Uh, play you, meditate back... Ragnarok Spirit Shield because we are going to have Scrawl this turn. Alright, that's a lot of block. Chad, I do believe I have blocked for enough. We could deal 22 times 5 real quick. Might not be all that necessary at the moment, though. 
<laughs> oh no. He's hot. And then meditate me back. Spirit. No, we don't need spirit shield. We can take wheel kick worship. Dude, anytime we meditate something back, man, we're just making it cost so much less and it's just so OP. It's just quite fucking strong, my friends. Die. Sweet. This relic should be illegal. They've made it so that you can't find Maw Bank past like a certain number of floors. This should be illegal to find right now. How is this not a... We shuffle our deck quite a fucking lot. <laughs> we shuffle our deck quite a lot. Yeah! I'm just kind of triggered at that, man. I'm just a little bit triggered. He took it, all caps. Yeah. YouTube title, this is the best claw deck. This was supposed to be an informative watcher run. This was supposed to be a run where I teach people how to play this character to the best of my knowledge and abilities. I don't think that I'm acquiring that. I really don't think that I'm acquiring that. All right, look for the establishment, of course. It's the only power that we have and the only power we care about playing. All right, let's go hard on just shuffling through our entire deck here. Again, play the Miracle before you play the Scrawl so that you can draw more cards. You're probably still going to use the energy here. All right, now let's um, let's get our let's get our wheel kicks down to like zero cost here. Claw me, and then we can evaluate into returning the wheel kick and the worship. Let's get those down the down the zero cost so that we can just keep fucking these things up, man. Dude, this claw is actually gonna scale out of control. I'm not even I'm not even kidding. Kristen, are you kidding right now? No, I just said I wasn't. What the hell, man? Why don't you believe me? All right, let's go back into you. I'll wipe you out real quick. <clears throat> Hit him with one of you. 22 block. Love that. Claw me. I'm taking one damage. Hand the god. So sorry that I uh, did such an embarrassing play there. You're taking prismatic shard and claw when it's actually a good idea. This is the best informative run. Is it? Chad, are you learning so many things right now? I'm taking three damage of this turn. I'm actually fucking failing hard. Yeah. Yeah, but Chat won though, so shut the fuck up. It's true. They did win, man. We need to get we need to get back on track. We're kind of floundering right now. We get 16 block plus 6. Take 2, but then we kind of get back on track with what we're trying to do. We can also meditate, though. I think we I think we go for the meditate angle. Yeah, we're, we're kind of... Not, not, I would not say blundering. That would not be the terminology that I would specifically use. I would instead use the term floundering. Because our goal is to constantly be meditating and then going into things. To play the watcher exactly like this. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Prime. No. Chat, remember this run in the future when Frost asks you for something in Slay the Streamer. He gave you this run. Look at that 40 damage claw. 40 damage motherfucking claw, dude. All right, let's bring back you, and let's bring back you. That's very true. It is, it is, you know, I, I like the way that you're, you're, you're speaking to me right now. I, I did give you this run. Out of the kindness of my goddamn heart, I played a much more difficult run than I really needed to. For your entertainment, 49 damage claw. Oh, whoops. Let's just kill you. Just wanted our ink bottle to be somewhat high up because we do have another fight here to come through. I would much rather find a Donu and a Deka. All right. Good find. Uh, let's get rid of the Spirit Shield early 
so that hopefully we can meditate it back with an early establishment. Do love the look of that. And we can get Scrawl next turn along with a Prey. Go ahead and break you. We'll take a little bit of damage here. I don't think that's a big deal, though. Let's bring this back and this back. And then establishment will heavily reduce the costs. You're just calling all of the things this run. Isn't that what makes a good player? Because if they can make the right calls at the right times. Spirit shield me. Claw me. Engage me. Okay, let's just keep setting up right now. We're doing so good. Chat, I think you're doing really good. Keep it up. Proud of you. Let's get rid of both of these so that we can now meditate back both of these. Again, we just want the good cards that are going to be helping us out here to cost nothing. Good cards to cost nothing. Wheel kick, get it out of here. Prostate for now, I think, can go. Yeah. Keep drawing. Evaluate into more draw, please. Into more draw, please. And then I think we can Spirit Shield into Meditate Back Wheel Kick. And Ragnarok. Again, just making the good things cost less. That's the goal here. Make the good things cost less, baby. All right. All right. Now let's look for a way to get into Divinity if possible. Okay, third eye. And we get to... We can guarantee a prostate this turn, but that is not enough. So we actually need to draw both of them. That's dangerous. Uh, we can actually just draw into Spirit Shield and play that instead. Okay. It's dangerous what we're doing here. Doing some dangerous things here, chat. Taking a little bit of D here. My streamer is a bad boy. And hey, what if I lose though? Am I still am I still considered a bad boy if I just fucking die? Okay, I need to focus for a second. We actually kind of want to draw these dazes, especially when we have ink bottle going off, so we can get rid of the dazes. We don't want to just keep drawing them because that's how you flounder. The wheel kicks not costing zero is hurting me. Uh, let's do you so we can draw you and then deal big damage. Claw me. Wheel kick me. Kick him again. I don't think we're going to need to block here. Next turn, we'll have Prey, but we're not going to have much more. And you are attacking me, which is dangerous. What do I need to do here to have a better turn next turn? Get rid of all of these cards. I'm going to play all of these so I get our ink bottle as high up as possible. Yeah, but chat won, though. So shut the fuck up. My bad, chat. Thanks for winning, though. Let's play Evaluate because it allows us to have more draw options in the draw pile. We can Third Eye in order to see what we need to draw here. All right. Successful turn. Wipe him out, Claw! Boom! <laughs> Love that. Thumpy, thumpy, thumpy. Yeah, we could have lost two more, more HP to go into the bone zone. Here's the thing, though. Uh, don't care, plus didn't ask. <laughs> Holy. All right. Do we need this HP here? What would I upgrade if I didn't need this HP? Maybe a cut through fate? But also toke, what would I toke? A claw? Chad, I don't think that upgrading claw is gonna get a whole lot of places for us, I'll be honest. You could toke a cut through fate. Toking a cut through fate's not a terrible idea. Huh. 
I love the idea of an ancient potion. Also love the idea of a bag of prep. That means we get... I mean, bag of prep with gambling chip is just too fucking OP to pass up, right? It basically allows us the guarantee to shuffle our deck on turn one. Like, that's... Oof. And we have exact money for it. It was meant to be. The homie was telling us something this entire time. All right. Look at all the cards. Nine cards. All right. We can get rid of Spirit Shield and then meditate it back with Establishment. Fantastic. Okay. Spirit Shield gone. You gone. You gone. Actually, we can meditate back Scrawl. So that we can guarantee to have a decent draw next turn. It's incredible. What a good turn. Okay. Yeah, meditating back Scrawl here is fantastic. Just make sure you don't overplay your energy. Yep. Scrawl me. Spirit shield me. Take one damage. A. First time chatter from D's knees. A indeed. Any other A enjoyers? Shuffle the draw pile real quick. Okay, now we can third eye in order to get only good shit to draw. Uh, we definitely want to start reducing the cost of our wheel kicks, if possible. That's a major goal right there, right? Claw me. More of an L kind of guy. El Bozo? Eesh. Yikes. Don't get don't allow this guy on my stream. Really don't want him around. All right, next turn, this guy's going to start hitting us for a billion. So let's get rid of you. Let's draw this. Draw you. And next turn we have Prey Beam Shell. Not exactly into those. Let's get rid of those. And then let's meditate back. Spirit Shield Wheel Kick. And we have the um, the Worship. And the Prismatic Shard Tech. So, Prismatic Shard Tech. Something that I will talk about because this is an informative video. What is the Prismatic Shard Tech? So, when you have... When you are a character that is not the defect, you don't have focus. So this guy's never going to fucking care to reduce your focus. But then all of a sudden, when you take Prismatic Shard, this guy thinks you might be the defect. He's very confused. If you notice, he doesn't have eyeballs. He doesn't he doesn't have eyeballs or a nose, so he really doesn't have, doesn't have much to go off of other than feel. And both the Watcher and the defect have one common characteristic, a dumpy that doesn't quit. So they think that you might be the defect and therefore might reduce your focus whenever he does the thing, which doesn't hurt you at all. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying, man. I'll be honest. I think I'm just kind of, I think I'm just kind of saying nonsense. Dan, am I just saying belligerent nonsense? Be honest with me. Give it to me straight, coach. All right. Ragnarok, I'm into meditate. We only have two mantra right now. So we would love to meditate back our wheel kicks. Get him, Claw! This Claw actually goaded. Gave us perfect lethal that turn. We get a Damaru. Oh my god, gain one mantra a turn, get the boot as well, big poggers. Fusion. <laughs> it's just one energy, man. It's just one energy, except all the time. Wait, is that actually good? Wait, does this allow us to go infinite? Wait, does fusion allow us to go infinite? Wait, is fusion an infinite? Fusion is infinite. You're saying that without doing any sort of math. You're just wanting it to be. I'm taking it, though. Because I'm a little bit quirked up. I'm a little bit quirked up like that, some might say. I want this to exhaust, so I don't think I want to get rid of it here. Source, dude, trust me. <gasps> I have to. Oh, should me? This is eight block a turn. Davaform makes us just have a party. <laughs> Davaform's uh, just here to fucking party. Davaform is here to do one thing and one thing only, and that's to party. Uh, let's play establishments. With a little bit of block. Will fusion me. The issue is, is next turn 
We have such a bad turn, but we need to focus on not having a bad turn in order to not lose. Big brain, big brain, baby. Let's bring back Spirit Shield and Wheel Kick in order to have not a bad turn. Holy, he's so smart. He's so goddamn smart. This fucking guy. How does he do it? How does he come up with these excellent lines? Okay. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. The other guys, we kind of want to draw them, weirdly enough. Because then you can get rid of them. Do this. Do this. Shuffle me. Hello, Spirit Shield. Great to see you. Uh, I'll draw you now, I guess, in order to play you. That's fine. I don't think I need to pray here. I'm just going to play this guy and probably just hit end turn. I don't think I need to play Claw. There's a good chance that I think that we still lose this. It's a dangerous fight. Nice. <laughs> Holy, dude. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, let's see what we can do. We definitely want to draw Meditate here. We can draw Fusion for more energy. We can draw Worship to go into Divinity. Okay. Could play this, but I really don't want to redraw it. Love what we're doing here, man. Love the energy. All right. So we can either get five more block or we can play meditate here. And I think meditate's probably the answer. We can also fusion, though. We can also fusion yeah, into third window, eye. So shut the fuck up. It's true. Into meditate. And we can meditate back. Wheel kick. Fusion. Is breaking my fucking brain, man. Anybody else? Anybody else's brain just getting fucking bonked out right now? Anybody else getting a little bit bonked out right now with their brain? Hello, spirit shield. Wonderful of you to join us. So this is the problem with what our deck is currently doing. Is sometimes we just draw really shitty hands like this, and that's dangerous. So let's not do that anymore. What are your thoughts? <laughs> what are your thoughts of that? Just not drawing bad like that anymore. I think it would probably be best for the, all of us. We're going to play wheel kick here. So it shuffles wheel kick. It didn't shuffle wheel kick. I realize now that it didn't do that. I knew that exactly as soon as I played it, that it wouldn't shuffle it. No thoughts, head empty. My bad. Yeah, if we knew that we were going to get day before him, we obviously would not have taken the... Uh, the other thing. But I think this is okay. A little bit of dangerous territory here. Don't worry, guys. We're just in meat on the bone zone. Nice to meet you. Nice to bone you. I also think the upgrade on um, that card would have been really good on the, the Spirit Shield. We grab... I think we just grab Wheel Kick here. We're not dead right now. We are currently 
as it as it stands, not dead. And I think meditate back a wheel kick. We are currently at an extremely low amount of HP, but notably, not dead. Very notable indeed. I like that draw. I don't think we're going to need to use that this turn. I think we're probably going to need to use it next turn, yeah? Beat of Death is only two still. Redraw. Then with a little bit of a third eye. Meditate is like literally the only card that we need here. And then we just need a guarantee that we can get into Re uh, to Divinity next turn. And then get this guy below 200. And if we can do all those things, then I think we have a fucking chance to just blast him next turn. We just don't want to accidentally draw too much. So Claw, put him just a little bit lower, but don't draw me any of this shit. Okay. Perfectly set up with Ink Bottle to bring back Ragnarok and Worship. Remember this potion that we had saved for that one guy that I had talked about? It's fucking blasting time. Eldritch Blast is currently not available in working chat. I have not re-enabled them. It's been a nice break. Did you learn something about how to play the Watcher? <laughs> I took three defect cards and none of them were all that impactful. <laughs> Moral of the story on how to play the Watcher. Don't fucking take other cards. Her cards are the best. All I learned that if you want to play the Watcher, you get to be a smart fella, not a fart smeller. True. How's Dan doing with Spire?